Sunday. Sunday. It's raining. It's spitting. It's raining. We have a brolly. We have a brolly and we're at the zoo, which is still quite busy, even given that the weather is quite changeable today. So what we're going to do today is we're going to find Solo and the Wookiee. And um, Solo is the new Malayan tapir for the zoo. So it's like the first Malayan tapir we've had, isn't it? So we're going to go and try and see that. Eh? We, we want to go and see Boris because we didn't see him last week and we haven't seen him in a while. And we like Boris. He's the chimpanzee. And um, we're going to go and find some Pokemon. Yeah. I'm going to swarm. And you're going to swarm? Yeah. Alright. Gemma's is going to swarm. It's like millions of little Gemmas will suddenly just erupt out of you. <laughs> yeah. And start attacking. Fly around me. The zoo is fantastic for Pokemon Go. Lots of Pokemon stops and gyms, which have already been taken over. But we're not doing the gym part because we can't be bothered. Not unless it's really low level. <laughs> yeah, we might take opportunity of that. But... Because if you become a leader of a gym, you get 10 coins. All right. You get paid to be the leader of the gym. I see. Blood money. Ooh, there, are steps everywhere. there are. According to Pokemon Go, the giraffe's called Rusty. I didn't know that. Now I'm wondering what the elephant and the rhino are called. Rusty one and Rusty two. <laughs> also Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Jubilee Gets, opened by the Queen. Yes, the Queen came and opened morning, just the Gets. <laughs> yeah, every morning. Every morning comes Gets the train up, first, first thing. Going to see Solo. Going to see Solo first, hobby and well. And the tongue. And the tongue. We have our first real animal spot of the day. Other than the elephants, is Asher and Kamala. The Indian one horned rhinos. Let's see if we can get a good spot. So I think that's Kamala, the youngster. Asher is over there. And Benny will be up the back in the rhino house. And Benny met David Attenborough once, didn't he? Did, yeah. On David Attenborough's birthday or something. <laughs> really hitting the pokey stops today. It's got a picture of an elephant on it. <laughs> oh yeah. No, no, no. Mine's got condors. It's got a shadow of a condor. Condor pack. Oh, right. It's got like a shadow of a condor's wing. A shadow of a condor. That sounds like a, a proper prog rock song, Shadow of a Condor's no, Wing. It's not a condor, it has a new post No, true. No love for the ice station today. Although I am tempted. Ice cream headache time. <laughs> Slushy headache. Slushy headache. A, there is a slight rumour that my camera, my SLR camera, Maybe jammed up with slush juice. <laughs> when you press the flash button, it just sticks closed because I, I dropped slush on it multiple times. Oops. It's an old camera anyway. To uh, Mergery and Batong's quarters. And hopefully, Solo. Oh, that's Batong. Mm -hmm. Baby Solo. Baby Solo. More baby Solo. Solo the baby rapid. Giraffes are you know. That's the male. Two of the girls. People were a bit bemused because the male was drinking the urine of the two females, which is his way of finding out whether they're in season or not. Gemma's trying to get photos for a photo challenge.
I dropped Tildo on the pokey stop. And then someone else dropped one on the one behind us, didn't they? It's not really done much for me yet. I managed to get was it a slow poke. That's the only thing I've not had. And we've had that one before as well. <laughs> what a Baby Mohan. How cute is that? We're going to go and check out the tropical realm briefly. Because we had a request to visit somewhere in here that somebody's never seen. In the trees that are. A couple of Sumatran laughing brushes. There they are. This is one of the, I don't want to say oldest buildings of the zoo, it's one of the older ones, I think it was it, like 1960s or something. But as a result it's really well established, with lots of cool plants. And you got lots of birds in here like that 40 up there. And over here, sunbitten. So the request in here was to head upstairs. Which we're going to do now. Prepare yourself for the awesomeness that is. Not much. Although actually, if you're a regular, there's a couple of birds up here that are really nice to see. There's a Java Sparrow eating stuff off the floor. They're everywhere in here. That's a, an open enclosure that people that the birds can fly out. People can fly out of? That'd be quite impressive. Bleeding heart doves are quite cool I suppose, aren't they? The white rumped charmer in here likes to sing as well. You can't see him at the minute. Is... What? Oh yeah, up at the top there. I don't think that's the one that sings. Mm. It's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. Pink-headed fruit looks cool. And these are awesome, these guys. Gemma's found an egg. The fact that that sign has to be placed there just makes me angry. Yeah, well that means people have been throwing stuff at it. Exactly. You come to the zoo and throw stuff at animals, you ought to be thrown out of the zoo. Anyway, yeah, the Aracari are cool. And yeah, as Gemma said, they have youngsters. They're quite regular, these, aren't they? Yeah. I love these. They're so cool. They're cheeky as well. Very cute. And we have the fairy bluebird, which is one of my favourite birds. The male's really pretty, but I actually quite like the female. I like these guys. Can't quite see the female at it? You like uh, green net pigeon, pigeon pheasant, yes. Yeah. It literally walked off shot the minute I put the camera down. Yeah, that's it. You go and run up the back. Oh, and we have a new spot for us. These are the Luzon Lullen Scopto and there's now two of them. There was one previously. Well, we only ever saw one in the past. Anyway. See if we can get through the fence to see them better. There they are. Side by side. Very cool. So basically what's up here is the dead end and some quite cool birds, so if you like birds it's worth coming up. Plus you get a nice canopy view of it. Mm -hmm. And you also get attacked by Java Sparrows. These guys are so cheeky. There you go. The crown pigeon's back on the nest. Yay! So I'd love to show you the eye eye and the, what was it? What else is in the eye enclosure now? Malagascan giant rats. Yeah. 
but it's really dark in the um, II enclosure, so we can't really show anything of value. But we're going to go ahead through the other side and check out the Jaguars all being well as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, I've got a really good view with the giant Madagascan jumping left. Yeah, and the male IA was chasing it, which was quite funny. Yeah. We've never seen him so active, so that's really cool. A bit of enrichment for him. What was an enrichment was the person banging on his glass, but there we go. So people frequently say, sand lizards, I can never spot them. So if you want to know what they look like, and it really does help to find them. There's one there. That's a boy, because he's green. And here's the one Gemma found. For Zoo Gossip fans, look, construction work is and has been occurring in this bit. Yeah, we are building a new um, outdoor habitat for our sloths. Oh, cool. But you can still see them inside. Building. Nice, that'll be cool to see. So there you go. You heard it here first or second or third. Yeah. New outdoor sloth enclosure. It's the wild soil turner over. Finally in captivity and also a bicycle. I prefer soil turner over. It's the rotavator. Mr. Rotavator to you. <laughs> and there's a sloth up there. And a sloth in the sloth. And an elephant. More outdoor sloth enclosure. Looks like they've cornered off these trees and they've got a hot way around the top of the fence and the sloths will be able to climb them. Which should be quite cool. Mmm, yeah. always smells nice here, doesn't it? There's some sort of curry plant or something here, it's nice. Grows uh, chicken karmas. Yeah, we could go and see the chimps. We were going to watch the Jaguar talk, but as Gemma said, we've been here that often now. Gemma could probably give the Jaguar talk. So. How cute is that? It's peeping. And it's out. Oh, and Mum's still on its head. Or is that another youngster? I think that's another youngster, isn't it? Just like the old one. <laughs> and he's back in again. So this is Nicky, he's one of my favourites, the one on the right. Proper old guy. And Gemma's just pointed out, this is the youngster of the group, Tina. When we first joined as members she was tiny, wasn't she? She was a little baby. And then she's grown a bit. And off she goes. She's always causing trouble. Oh, she is. It's a pretty cool group of ch chimps here because there's like 20 plus of them. 23, isn't it? Yeah, living like a family. Yeah. Probably one of the most studied chimp groups in the world, if not they. Yeah. And there's a big fella. <laughs> and that's for them. Dylan. We're going to go and check out Solo again, see if he's awake this time. Always worth popping back when with new youngsters, well with any animal. It started to rain again. Yeah. 
that was worth going back for, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So, you know, uh, it was nice to see the baby's face, you know, the nice, yeah. happy and healthy one. Marjorie's face was amazing. Oh, She's yeah. proper flat out with teeth shot. Proper tape your lips going on. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about Gemma is suddenly she'll just say, uh, fancy an ice cream and then leave and come back with ice cream. And that makes for a good wife, I find. So what flavour did you get, Gem? It's white chocolate with raspberry and Oreo pumpkin. Mm -hmm. It's actually really nice. I'm not a big fan of Oreos, but I like that. And I got the old favourite, mint choc chip, as I do always. I'm sorry, there's a problem here. What? Pokemon Go is out of date. This is Millie. That Gem has just remembered the name of. And we're over to see Katie and Safi. They were snoozing in the background. Oh yeah, and those, yeah. Katie's down there. If we're lucky, she might come past. No, nope, no. Nope. And back she goes. Wafting the fence with the tail as she goes. She can see the bush dogs. Yeah, a bit of uh, free enrichment for her, that. She's a hunter, isn't she? As is traditional, the lions are flopped. And she's trying to push herself against the rock with her legs, which is funny. Uh -huh. uh, one of the females, yeah. And um, the best view of the day. The view everyone pays for. The back wheels of a lion. That's Iblis. Thanks for the display there, Iblis. It's the Babby Rooster. Here we have a zebra enclosure with bonus grey heron. Oh yeah, and slowly across over the wall. Sleepy water pig. Baby alert, it's a little humbugs that are the baby water pigs. We got one here. And one down there. And Gemma's just pointed out there's one. Whoops, where's it gone? There it is. Can't see with my sunglasses on. At the door there. I'm assuming that's mum with this one. Much like our SeaWorld video, there's some rice planting in here. And what we do like now is, as the boat ride's been here for a while, the way the grasses have grown in the water and the boat cuts through the middle of it looks really cool. Mm. And also plastic turtles. <laughs> and we have a baby of Noah. What this one's called, we've not announced the name yet, have we? She's sweet. Alternative angle, also. <laughs> There's another one. I'm assuming this is Dad. And that's mum. Mum and youngsters. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know, but that's cool. Hey, okay, you good. Come on. Alright, come on. There's yet a Noah. So the rain picked up, so we decided to scarp her. And of course, the minute we got out of the zoo, Very the sad. rain went away. But we've had a good day, so we're going to call it a day here. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. We didn't catch many new Pokemon. Pokemon. We called um, it a teeny though. But we did find lots of Poke stops. Yeah. And we got and lots gyms. of Poke eggs and gyms and stuff. So that was fun. And yeah, pretty good day all right. Pity we didn't see Boris, but you know, there's a baby magpie there that looks really funny because <laughs> it's all bald. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, that's us now. So I'll see you soon. <laughs>